I was having a dream that I was like, it was really hard for me to breathe. When I woke up early the next day before I went to work, I was still like, oh my gosh, I, I really can't breathe in real life. Hey guys, it's good to see you again. But before we get started in this video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications, just so you can see what I'm up to right away. This time around, I am going to be talking about how my oil diffuser caused me some problems. So not too long ago, I got an oil diffuser as a gift and it was a great surprise because this is something that I've been wanting to get for a while. I love having sweet smells or you know, incorporating some sort of good scent in my room and I usually always light a whole bunch of candles at once, but I also wanted something that would like have more of a benefit to me and be able to like calm my mood or you know open up my sinuses and I know essential oils are really good for that and so I was really interested in getting an oil diffuser and I ended up getting one as a gift so I was so 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 excited about it and this is the one that I got so I got this oil diffuser and it comes with all of these buttons so you could have one hour, three hours, six hours or just leave it on. And there's also a button just to turn on the light which also you know, allows this area to glow in different colors. And it's really good, it's convenient, it's also a very nice size. The top of it comes off easily and you put water inside and it would plug in but I actually have it separated from the actual wire. And I usually keep it up here on top of my dresser, sort of away from everything in the back next to the plant. That way you can just spurt into the air without me even worrying about it. So yeah, when I first got it, I was in love with it. I was able to put in a whole bunch of different essential oils. I was able to have whatever scents I liked and also scent combinations. I use it every day basically. and. Sometimes, if I came home during my lunch break, I would set it for six hours. That way, when I came home, it would be like the refreshing scent of lemongrass <laughs> or what have you. And so, and lemongrass and eucalyptus were my favorite. Eucalyptus especially to kind of open up um, because sometimes at night I have a little bit of congestion issues for whatever reason and I sometimes use the eucalyptus so I can clear my air passages and be able to like go to sleep at night peacefully. Until one night I was experiencing some trouble breathing. When I woke up early the next day before I went to work, I was still like, oh my gosh, I, I really can't breathe in real life. So I was trying to take deep breaths. I was calming myself down, I took a nice steamy shower, I got ready for work. By the time I got to work and was sitting at my desk, I was breathing fine. And it was funny because I actually snapchatted um, some of my girlfriends that morning and was saying like, I'm having trouble breathing so I'm gonna drop this eucalyptus in here a little bit more just to clear everything up. And one of my friends, shout out to her, she knows who she is. She was actually like, actually, I think it might be the essential oils themselves that are doing this. And I was like, I never would have thought. I'm very dramatic. So I was at my desk at work and I whipped out my phone and I was like, let me Google if there's anything harmful about it. And actually, um, I did find an article here where some educational website and it says inhalation is arguably the safest means of administering essential oils and it's the fastest way to get essential oils into your bloodstream. Um, however, it's still critical to use with caution even when diffusing. So you need to diffuse in a well ventilated area somewhere between 30 minute in intervals. You need to take breaks. Um, make sure you follow the dilution guidelines. So I feel as though I was probably using it too much or to the point where I wasn't it wasn't diluted enough. So sometimes I would pop in oils like without changing out the water fully or letting it run out fully. I would just like, you know, shake a few drops in there and I honestly feel like I wasn't diluting it enough. A little bit can go a long way with essential oils, which is why I'm on here warning you guys that using too much of a good thing can sometimes be harmful. And that goes for a lot of things in life. So 
When you're using your oil diffuser, make sure you only put three to six drops of an essential oil in there. And if you want to use two, I'll put three drops of each in there and then leave it alone until it runs out completely. Don't try to experiment with too many scents all at once. Also, don't you know, keep refilling it with oil or dropping a few oils in there when your old water is still in there. Make sure everything is cleared out and then start over again. I hope you guys find this video helpful. It's something that I just discovered and it's something that is very important to know because we're out here and we don't know what kind of things can have a harmful effect on our bodies. Not that this is harmful at all. I will still continue using my oil diffuser I actually enjoy using my oil diffuser a lot and I have found myself not really buying candles as much. If you like my video, comment below if you've heard this before, if you use an oil diffuser. And also make sure you subscribe for more health videos, videos on my locks, and also general lifestyle. Alright, have a good one.